Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. When we last left off, we have just started pursuit of a UFO number 12, the large one. And we are going to have a mission, hopefully. Unless they uh, are quicker than us and will fly away, which uh, probably is the case. Okay. It was a scout for the terror mission, which is coming by the end of February. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait for that. Let's double check the graph. Okay, still nothing. And fast forward time. General stores are complete, that's okay. Still no more activity. And I think on 28th of February, we actually would like to do some base maintenance. Alien Origins, clear that we are fighting a losing battle on Earth, of course. Why don't you cheer me up a little bit more? And um, let's go for that leader, I would say. Alien power systems would also not be bad. Hmm. Okay, let's go for the leader. I want the mind control stuff first. And uh, 1999 is not a leap year, right? So what I will do is um, sell either a Sky Ranger or an Interceptor. Hmm. Let's sell the Interceptor. And we will try to manufacture Raven number one instead. So Interceptor, Interceptor, where are you? Ah, and we can actually sell the Sky Marshal too. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Sell it. And now our monthly costs are about six and uh, a half million. Okay, income 6.7. Hmm. Good, so we should be okay. At the break of the next month, maybe I could sell something more, just in case I don't want to go into minus if I don't have to. But I don't see too many more things to sell. Yeah. So that's fine. 400,000 will have to do. What about the manufacturing alloy vest? Yeah, let's uh, let's do only one, so that we don't lose any more money. And let's start doing something for profit. We'll do motion scanners. Okay. That's good. Graphs say everything's as it was. And uh, okay, we have excellent rating, almost 1500. Everybody is pleased with our progress, so that's perfect. Okay, so the activity has dropped in Southeast Asia and everywhere else. That's fine. We have 600,000 and one free hangar. So we will start uh, manufacturing a new craft. The Raven costs uh, 50 alien alloys and costs 375,000 per unit, which is excellent. We can afford it. What? Twen oh, one engineer, of course, that will not do. 40 engineers, 6 days. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we still have some money. 
but not too much, so we need a mission. And what is that? South America. Oh, so just like... Just like in the beginning of the February, something has happened in the beginning of March. And we were not told. Are these invisible terror missions or what? I don't get it. Really? Oh, this is so irritating. So irritating. I guess I will probably go to forum and ask what the heck that is. I don't want it to happen every month. Hmm. Okay, UFO number 13, small, very low. Going... Going somewhere... Well, southeast. Not sure where. Um, we don't have um, any interceptors, so let's send the Sky Marshal after them. It's a long way, but maybe they will stay there long enough. Oh, they have landed as well. Let's hope they will uh, land twice, because I'm not sure if I can get to them. Although Sky Marshal is a faster craft. And it will be a night mission as well. Hmm. Stay there a bit longer. A bit longer. Oh! <laughs> almost. Almost. That was like 10 minutes. Well, let's see if they land once again. They probably don't... Oh, they did, oh, they did. Intercept with uh, Sky Marshal. Okay, excellent. So, we have a mission after all. It will unfortunately be during the night as well. But uh, let me equip the soldiers and I'll be right back. Well, you guys are not really the heaviest soldiers I've seen so far, so I guess... Uh, this is the most I could give you. Most of you have electro flares, some uh, nice gun and grenades. And uh, the heavier soldiers will have also stun rod. And Grand Sir Phoebus will have a flamethrower. And this time we will try to shoot out from it. Even if we don't aim at any aliens. Because I do want to see what it does. And I'm sure you want to see that too. Okay, more grenades. Some grenade launchers as well. Bobby Buns is a designated medic. We have uh, also some proxy grenades, just in case, and that's it. So, let's begin. Oh, of course. Didn't I say before that we are avoiding deserts and polar terrain? I think I did. I think I did. Well, good thing is this is the edge of the map, so we can go through here and... Uh, be in relative cover. Dogs cannot see anything and this is actually not a completely flat terrain, which is excellent. Excellent. So, Chris Sullivan, why don't you run over there and throw your flare over here? Okay, can't see anything. That's good. The other dog will uh, go around. Can't see anybody, that's good. So you will go that way too and throw your flare somewhere. Come on. Really? Why not? Oh, that's why. Well, you need 13. Maybe you can throw through here. Excellent. And we still don't see anyone. Okay. So we will offload. Slowly but surely. 
Mr. Monkey, Grancer Phoebus. <laughs> well, come over here for now. That's fine. Mr. Vosny, right here. Then uh, Yoroshi. Two more guys on the left. Mr. Quiet, you're the first. And Timur is the second. Okay. The rest of you just uh, come forward. That's uh, good enough. Like that. And uh, I probably want to put my dogs somewhere safe or at least relatively safe. So why don't you hide over here? That's fine. And you over there. Good. Face this way. Next turn. Only hidden movement. Okay. Doggy? See anything? I guess not. Guess not. This is the UFO already. That's good. Grand Sir Phoebus, why don't you throw a flare there? And we'll continue scouting. Nothing here. Still nothing. Okay, now we see something. I think you may be able to throw another flare. You need uh, 13. From here, maybe. All the way there, and there's the culprit. Okay. I'm not sure if you can shoot through here. Probably not. No line of fire, yeah. But somebody who is heavy could throw a grenade. Actually, we can't because it's not uh, third turn yet. So, how shall we do this? Hmm. We could fire from here, but that is probably too far away. We need 12. So maybe, just maybe, Try from over here, Hiroshi, your first shot in XCOM, and you can do a snapshot. No line of fire. Okay, understood. Hmm. Come back. That's fine. This dog... Can't see anything. Mr. Monkey. Can you please throw your flare on the top of the UFO? Excellent. Still nothing. Hide over here. That's fine. And we'll be moving forward. So, Akos and Timur over here. And Mr. Quiet in front of Mr. Bunky. That's good. You're okay. Can we shoot through here? Maybe. Try an aimed shot. Okay, so we can shoot from there. What about from over here? No, not anymore. Okay, we need uh, 13. Okay, try it. Yeah, 0% is 0%. So, get rid of your flare at least. No. That's good enough. Face that way. Hiroshi, face this way. Attack dog, run away. Good enough. 
and we shall start offloading more troops starting with emissary supras will go the other way nice uh, bobby buns will also go the other way this actually provides a lot of cover so i'm not afraid and uh, we are not expecting a grenade either in the first two turns so we can offload everybody well maybe not that far thomas the two officers we have will stay a little bit back next turn okay the sectoid didn't go after the dog which is excellent we can see him and mr wozny will try an aimed shot didn't work duck and let chris sullivan try the same no okay duck <laughs> and we shall not try the flamethrower although now we could try the sniper rifle 107 percent no line of fire what about if you duck go here and shoot excellent one dead sectoid then doggy anything else no no good you shall continue this should be safe and we'll try to put this on fire next turn hide over here face that way then uh, this dog seems okay who has a flare mr quiet you need to throw that over here don't tell me out of range what's your strength yeah 25 okay it is out of your range maybe you could throw it here no still not okay that's fine move over here that's good next we have a cos what about there not enough energy whoops that's good and throw it right here now we can scout no danger i guess yeah everybody will be in the ufo good stay here guard that we need 17 for a snapshot so come here face this way and the grenadiers will approach from the same angle as well oh we actually have both of them here well that's fine poppy Bounce is a heavy soldier he will throw a flare over here excellent excellent now we can see something finally yoroshi you'll be going through this uh, opening hide over here and uh, emissary will follow you that's fine and the other guys thomas Riker, come here and uh, Aza over there excellent anybody else maybe one step back doggy we don't really want you to die and that's it yep billy maybe mm, one more step next turn nothing okay nothing here either 
That's good. Doggy. Ah, now we see an alien. Are you a heavy soldier, Aza? Strength 33. Yeah, that might do it. Let's try. Prime a grenade. And throw it over here. Whoops. It landed up there, unfortunately. That will not do. Who is a heavy soldier? Bobby Buns. Your strength is... 38. Oh, but you have no grenades. Okay. Supras. Your strength is... 31. Probably not enough. Hmm. Well, let's continue scouting. And one more here. Okay. Then... Uh, what can we do? You can throw a flare. Somewhere here. Come on. Oh, come on. There. No, you can't, obviously. What about you? Out of range, out of range. So come closer. And throw it now. Excellent. Hmm. So, you will come here, put down your flare, somebody will prime a grenade for you, like Supras, throw it to him, that was really bad, wow, and we can't go there to pick it up. Hmm. So you will have to. That was a really bad throw. Pick it up. And uh, stay there, I guess. Okay, we could also try the grenade launcher. I'm not really sure if that works. <laughs> Let's try. Not enough time in it. Ah, of course. What about you, Bobby Buns? No line of fire. Okay. Come here. And uh, Doggy, just run away. Yeah. It's not safe there. What about this guy? We failed to throw a grenade here too. Doggy is in danger. Go back. Grand Sir Phoebus has a grenade and is a heavy soldier. Maybe he can do the wonder. Oh yeah, that was a very good throw. Very good throw. Continue this way. You too. And you over here. Excellent, I think that's all. Thomas Riker will need you later. Next turn. The alien is dead. And we don't see any more. Next, we need some light over here. Definitely. Yoroshi will do more scouting. Whoa! Did an alien just kill another alien? <laughs> I think so, but uh, let's put a flare down and go away from this corner. That's a corner of death. You can uh, go through too. 
but we need to pay attention to this corner. Really good attention. Okay, ACOS. More light, please. Yeah, I think that's somebody we didn't kill. <laughs> it must have been killed by the other guy. Doggy? Nothing, okay. Nothing here either. That's cool. So one door over here and probably second over there. Hmm. No flare. You have a primed grenade. You don't want to carry that around, really. Bobby? Do you have a flare? Yes, you do. You are a heavy soldier. What about over here? Oh, hello. Hello. I've got something for you. Aim shot. No line. Hmm. So, Mr. Monkey has a prime grenade. He's a heavy soldier. Maybe he can throw all the way. Oh yes, he can. Another dead sectoid. That's how we like them. This is cool. We'll need some flares there later on. So just move everybody. Okay. Mr. Vosny, you too. And Aza as well. You can face this way. Billy, come closer. Mr. Quiet, here. This is uh, going very well, actually. Very well. There. And uh, dog should go away. Like this. The other dog is also safe. Let's see how this guy dies. Very cool. And we actually wanted to see how the... <laughs> flamethrower works so it has 40 ammo left and we can do auto shot with 8% accuracy hmm well let's try here out of range wow that's cool <laughs> so it fires 8 times and does a couple of explosions and uh, puts things on fire. Not bad, but I guess we can really use it only in close combat, which somehow limits the usefulness of the weapon. Anyway, my scouts are here. And uh, bite. Very nice. Come back. And around the corner, nothing. Okay, the other guy. Around this corner. Nothing here, but we need more light. Let's do that. Okay, that should do the trick. Nothing? I guess not. Okay then, I guess it's time to move forward really. So we'll take one, two and three guys. You can throw this somewhere. Oh come on, you can't be that weak. Just put it on the ground then. Come here. 
Bobby Buns, do you actually have some other weapon than this? No, you don't, so we'll need uh, guys with actual weapons to use indoors. Supra Senior is actually one of them with his stun rod. Come forward. Oh, and it's been 30 minutes. Let's finish uh, this mission in this episode. And we'll start a new one in the next one, hopefully. I think we can also advance with these guys. Emissary, for example. Would like to have a look. This is a maze of sorts. Face that way. Okay, come over here. This is a little bit dangerous. They have a free line of sight over there, but nothing major. I really fail to see the usefulness of the flamethrower though. If it's doing something like that, only at the range of 9. Hmm. Maybe we'll do some sort of special mission with that, but uh, not really too soon. Let's finish scouting this area. There is nobody. Perfect. So it's not like, you know, terror from the deep. <laughs> uh, you have a nice weapon. And you see an alien. Kill it. Well, can you kill it if you put it in your left hand? No. Step aside then. Hmm. Don't like this. Who has a smoke grenade? Grand Sir Phoebus. You might be able to throw it all the way there. Prime it. And throw it. Yeah, that's not how you do it. It ended up being here. Anyone else with a... Grenade. Okay. You might actually have a good angle. Prime and throw. Yeah, that also didn't go as planned. Actually, you are missing quite a lot. I think it has been nerfed in Open XCOM because in standard XCOM you could actually, you know, like throw from anywhere to anywhere and it always well, almost always landed where it should face this way and uh, what can we do I don't want to step inside really we could run away no we can't I was thinking of a proxy grenade but uh, that will not do. Yeah, this is safe. Oh, and it's been 33 minutes already. Wow. Um, okay, we'll finish the mission in the next episode, I guess. Let me save. I do not want to go over 30 minutes too much. And this was part number 17. When we come back, we'll need to figure out what to do with Timur and uh, the other guys. Because this is a really dangerous situation. So, yeah. <laughs> we might still have some casualties in this mission. But we'll see in the next episode. Till then, bye bye.